All right, guys, for those of you who don't follow my Instagram channel, there's a link right there. But this is the first look at the new Bass Cat Puma STS. Just delivered to Ross Motorsports. It's now at Jones Marine Electronics in Texarkana getting ready to get rigged out. Uh, we should have the boat here in the next uh, week anyway, and we'll be back to fishing. So thanks for sticking with me. And by the way, I'm going to speed this up here in just a second. For those of you who are Napoleon Dynamite fans, Hollis Walker Smith just did a beautiful Napoleon Dynamite drink for you. Watch this. You know, the first four times I watched that movie, I really didn't get it. But anyway, got to do a little bit of time around Ross Motorsports and just kind of did a little walk around uh, looking at inventory and just kind of scoping stuff out. But I got to tell you, I saw something there, and, and I'm going to show you all the boat inventory here in a minute. I just kind of was strolling through the motorcycles, and obviously the boys were all about the motorcycles and all the power sports stuff. But Scott there at Ross Motorsports showed me something that I thought was so cool, I thought it was worth sticking in the video. So y'all check this out. We'll come back to the motorcycles in a second. All right. We're, we're going to give an idea to other dealers around the country. Show that. Well, what we've got here is a Ross Motorsports set special. Years ago, uh, our techs Amos and service manager Glenn came up with this system right here on our tractors where we plug all our boats in and then we've got toggle switches on everything and that allows us not only to back the trailers up move them around with the tractors but allows us to test your trailer lights without grabbing a truck or using any other equipment so it's a big time saver and it really really keeps all the lights working better and makes everything easier to check before your boat heads out. I mean, it's just a brilliant idea. You just got it wired just like it come out of the back of your truck. Look out, guys. Come here, Landon. That's a cool idea. Yeah, that was a good one. They even made it look good, which yeah, I'm really yeah. proud of. Cause... We need a raw sticker up there, though. <laughs> we need a... Can we get a raw sticker I've right here? i got some on my stairs. <laughs> You know, I just love family-owned businesses like, like we're all square. You know, I mean, literally the owner of the business is just out there helping out, doing stuff with everybody else, working right there on the premises. He's not, you know, uh, uh, away from the business and, and not being involved. So uh, quite obviously, uh, you know, and we're out of hunting season, so they've got really good stock on 4 by 4s and on motorcycles and all that fun stuff. And uh, there were, actually, there were a lot of people there looking at them the day I was there. They were as busy, kind of like what I said about Jones the other day. They were as busy as I have ever seen them the other day. Uh, but uh, the boys really, really wanted that little electric bicycle right there. But since they can't quite even pedal a bicycle yet, we're, we're probably at least a year from getting any kind of a motorized vehicle for them. Uh, but they were loving on some popcorn. They, they make popcorn there some days. And both boys are dragging in popcorn around so anyway so that's sort of a sense of uh the motorsport stuff and then i got a little chance and i'm not sure how good the audio is going to be on this i may have to voice over it but got to wander around with ryan and on my own a little bit and just sort of soap, scope out some of the other inventory so let's take a peek at that stuff too here so that's a blazer 650 pro tour uh, i'm not sure if that's the same boat that was there last time you see Hollis still got his hand in that bottle bag of popcorn that is actually i'll come back to that boat in just a second so there's another blazer back there uh both the yamaha powered blazers sitting there in the showroom and then if you remember there was a legend boat that was down there for sale that had a ton of electronics on it that boat got sold but then they realized they didn't have clean title on it so they had to uh fix that so they've got that fixed that boat is back up for sale i don't remember the price on that boat obviously it's on the website and i'll put a link down below or I'll put a, a QR code right there. You can check out their inventory. There goes my landing. Uh, and then we've got uh, a couple of other boats kind of scattered around here. Uh, there's a Camus. Uh, that big, pretty uh, Blazer Blaze still back there. There's a smaller Blazer Bay. That's a really neat boat. That's kind of a cool uh, cross between a, a bass boat, a pontoon boat, uh, and a duck boat. I mean, a little bit of everything. Uh, some pontoons across the back back there. There's a really pretty dark colored cougar right there. Uh, and then what else do we have up here? Let's wander around a little further. Uh, that's a Pantera. A little smaller boat there. More of a starter style boat, but a really pretty boat. Uh, there's a Ranger mixed in right there. I think that's a Ranger right there. Yeah, that's got to be a Ranger. And then there's another cat right there. I 
I'm not sure which model that is. I didn't catch it as we walked by it. It's a pretty black and red boat. Another Blazer Bay style boat back there. Uh, as you're noticing, there's a little bit of everything on the showroom floor. Another cat back here, and there's another cat tucked around back there in the back as well. So, uh, you know, obviously more inventory, which should mean for me and you better prices. And we're going to talk to Ryan in a minute about trade-in values too, because those have gotten a lot better recently. And then I wandered back outside. Uh, my boat kept calling to me. So this is a little better view. As you can see, it's, it's actually the same color scheme as my Lynx. It's black with white, and then it's got the same red stripe in it that the Mercury does. You see how and Landon there are putting it through its early paces. You'll notice the only thing on the boat right now is power poles. There's no electronics on it. Uh, it's a 250 Pro XS. Uh, I've not propped it yet. I have a 23 and a 24 pitch three blade fury, a 25 pitch, pitch three blade fury. So we'll check out all the propping. Uh, no trolling motor. I, I think, you know what? I'm not going to say because I'm not sure what we're going to put on up there. A lot of things going on between Jones Marine Electronics and the guys from, uh, which are largely some of the same guys from Next Big Thing. So uh, we'll figure it out here pretty soon. And uh, hopefully. We'll have fishing video out of that boat within the next 10 or 12 days. We should know for sure real soon. Guys, hey guys, I'm here with Ryan at Ross. We're picking up the new Puma STS. And so we had it delivered here from Mountain Home so you guys can kind of go through it, right? Exactly. I mean, there's no, no matter like if we have a guy like yourself that, you know, doing their own grass or whatever, I mean, we are still responsible to go through that motor. Uh, we check the lower unit oil, the engine oil. We hook it up to uh, Mercury system, which I, was actually called G3, to make sure you got 100% throttle. Just check all the diagnostics now. Uh, fill it full of gas. We crank it forward, reverse, back to neutral. Do that several times to make sure everything's shifting act, uh, you know, correctly. But we want to make sure that the, the powerhouse is, is in good shape before you leave with this boat and, and especially get on the water. Perfect. So let's uh, let's walk in where it's a little quieter. Let's talk a little bit about what's changed since I was here three months ago. What's changed is uh, people have actually came alive and started wanting to go fishing, and we have uh, we have not only sold a ton of, of used inventory, we've also sold a bunch of uh, brand new casts. I think we've sold seven brand new casts in the last two months, and uh, so with that being said, our used inventory is depleted. Uh, which means now you're going to probably be seeing a bunch of videos saying we want your used inventory uh, because we just don't have that much left. And the good thing about the consumer that has a trade in is uh, that that trade in value is actually going to go up. So you were sorry, guys. We had to break away there. I got little ones with me today. So, which basically what you just said is boats are moving again. Boats are moving again, uh, used and and new. Uh, what I was saying earlier is I think we've sold seven brand new cats in the last two months. I uh, got one about to leave right now. The guy came in earlier. Uh, brand new Puma STS is going to be hitting Rayburn. These are guys actually, uh, they just won the Brandon Belt Series there on Conrad. Right. So, they, they racked them. Oh, yeah, they did. But uh, but our used inventory has, has been depleted, thankfully, uh, as the owner would say. But good thing about it, if you're a consumer, you do have a trade-in. Less boats out there, the, the higher value that, that you're going to get for yours. So, uh, you know, kind of keep in mind. So, I'm sure you're going to be seeing a bunch of commercials and a bunch of advertising coming from us here at Ross. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll trade it. Sorry, guys. We got, I got nine things going on. But, yeah. So, inventory's down. This is a better, way better time to trade a boat. And we got great weather to go fishing. It is. Yeah. Perfect weather. Yeah. And I noticed you've got pretty good uh, other motorsports inventory inside as well right now. We have a lot of other motorsports inventory as well. Inside. Oh, yeah, definitely. definitely. Uh, tons of side by sides and full wheelers. Uh, we've got inventory is definitely not our problem right now on the motorsports side. So. Yeah. So, and I guess that's kind of the case. You sell more of that in the fall, more fall boats in the spring. And fall and, and summer, you know, everybody, especially like around August, everybody started to, you know, do food plots and get, get in the deer hunting mode. Uh, but right now, I mean, it's, it's all about boats. I mean, everybody, you can go to the ramps on the weekends now and you're going to see everybody out there. Speaking of which, you got some pontoons back there, too. We sure do. Yeah. We, uh, sure do. Got a, had a guy call about an hour ago wanting to, to buy the, the black one on the left. Uh, he lives on Lake Palestine. But, uh, are those new boats or used those boats? Are, those are our last 2023 models that we have. Uh, I know. He's okay. We've got some 2024 models here, but 
but uh, our 2023 model, we got them priced right. And, uh, and what's the brand on those? Those are G3. Okay. G3s. And uh, the one, two on the left are actually tri tunes. They both got 250 shows on it. Uh, and the one on the far right hand side uh, is a, it's a uh, pontoon. And I believe it's got like a 115 on it. Well, that's what you call a pontoons two and a tri tunes three. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. And when you get that tri tune, you can put the big 250 show on it. And those boats, they're going to run 45 miles an hour, which is really fast. Oh, yeah. Boat, so, uh, That'll blow your raft around. Absolutely. That's cool deal. All right, guys. So if you survived that, thank you. That's the most chaotic video I've ever shot. I thought, oh, I won't be hard with the boys there. But man alive where they wound up. Uh, we had a good time, though. So uh, this is just, I walked over to the outside to see what kind of other inventory. So there's a mixture of new and used boats over here kind of a little bit of everything there's some tiller steer duck boats there uh, there's some bass cats mixed in there's a nitro there's a skeeter uh, there's just a little bit of everything out there and there's a bunch of four by four side by sides over here too so um, just kind of a big mixture of all kinds of inventory uh, again new and used so if you want to check it out there's a link there you can go check it out on the ross motorsports website or you can give the guys down there a call and go see what they got so thanks for tuning in i hope to actually be fishing again next time you guys see me so we'll be back real soon